me again. It's also this. Poppy doesn't like when I kneel. Pops is very interested in the track. Yeah, and getting her butt scrap. So we're making some new brake lines now. We've got nickel copper tubing. We've got a tube flaring tool, a bending tool, and a cutter, and then a whole bunch of assorted fittings. And Poppy really likes it. It's pretty easy to work with. The stuff's really flexible. So hopefully we should have this all done in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> So we were up way too late last night trying to make flarings on the end of the tubing for the brake lines and we've got this little Harbor Freight tube flaring kit, it's supposed to do automotive style double flares. So it's got these dies and there's a pin that goes down the center, you put that in the tube and then the press is supposed to press it down into kind of the bubble shape and you pull off the die and then the cone on here is supposed to kind of roll it in on itself to give you the double flare. And what we found is this thing does not align flat with the bottom of this piece. So you've got this clamped in your vise. And then when this sits on it, it's at an angle. It's all over the place. And then you've got a cone point pressing into a second cone and nothing sitting flat. And we were only getting, you know, like a reasonably usable flare every two or three tries which is not very efficient or even very assuring because reasonable still wasn't perfect. So after wasting about an hour messing with the Harbor Freight tool, we broke it and just ordered a better one. It came. So we got in the box a tool. It's a thing. There's a handle. Probably can be used for self-defense if necessary. We have some dies of various sizes and that's it. So let's see if it works. So we got the brake flaring tool. We're gonna to redo all these flares that we tried to do with the Harbor Freight tool earlier. It really should not take very long because this tool works so well. So let's give it a try. So this is what we were getting with the Harbor Freight kit. And that was the best. And we'd try maybe five times and then we'd finally get something that looked like this. All the rest, the edge would just fold over on itself or collapse off center. So I'm gonna cut this off now. And this is a segment called Watch Zack Struggle. <laughs> start going from the back up to the front and then to the front brakes. The master cylinder is almost out. We're going to replace that. This one looks pretty rusty and 
since the brakes have been leaking and everything's rusty, we're just going to replace the entire system up front and then not have to worry about it down the road. Mark this line. Blue for back. The grease kind of clashes with the rust. Sadly, this grease does not smell like cherries. It's fresh from AutoZone, comes pre-rusted so that you don't even have to worry about it. When you put it on your truck, it's already good to go. And this one doesn't fit. So, the studs are sticking out too wide on this compared to the holes on our new master cylinder. So I think we can fix that. cylinder that's the right one so we don't have to go drilling holes and messing too much with this one they're cheap they're like 30 bucks but just want to make sure we get the right thing in there so it actually works when it comes time to stop so Zach got the new master cylinder in this morning it's Sunday this is like the end of the second weekend that we've had the thing um, we've got all the brake lines run now. We're going to see if we can get the brakes bled and then pull it out in the driveway and maybe take it for a test drive. Hey Pops, can you give me a high five? Good job! 